Nigerian musician, Chidema Ekile, has opened up on why she stopped singing secular music. Chidema, who shot into the limelight after winning Project Femme in 2010, said she felt empty. She had announced in 2021 that she had become a minister of God and vowed never to return to secular music. In a YouTube video she posted on Wednesday, Dike Dike said the emptiness made her reconnect with her source. I was looking for my fulfillment, but I didn't find it until I reconnected with my source, she added. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is faithful. He never lies. So he does whatever he says. So I'm here today. It's been a long journey. I had an opportunity to, to spend time with him. It was a very rare privilege to spend time with him. And he told me a lot of things. And he said he has been waiting for me. He said he's been waiting for me. So he's happy to receive me. You said that I'm the one you have been looking for. And then you change my name more. You wipe away my tears. Oh. And you overwhelm me. This love is too much. What can I say? I love be your name. here because I want to make money I'm not here because I want fame I've had all of that and I think that I've had enough of all of that so right now is the time to work for my father He's the one who has called me. I did not bring myself here. As a matter of fact, I did not want to be here. And Mr. Isaiah had stood with me throughout this journey. He did not get tired because it could have been very tiring. Because he's, he's dealing with somebody who... It's not like I don't understand. I have a little understanding of the kingdom I've been in the choir since I was six so I've always been in church but it's a new dimension right now it's, it's a new system 
and I'm going into the full force. <laughs> so most of the times you might not understand my ways because you don't know where I'm coming from. And that is because a lot of time has been wasted. So I need to catch up with time. So as I move, please move with me. Because, <laughs> because if you don't, it's your loss. So I'm moving with time. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. The, the enemy has been winning for too long. The enemy has been winning for too long. There's no time. I had a lot of things yesterday. I've had, I've had my share of influence and all of that. So now I'm using all of that. Everything that the enemy thought he had given to me that was given to me by God whilst it was there lying to me that he gave them to me I'm using all of that to work for my father so when you see me doing some very extreme things just understand where I'm coming from no time no time we have too many people out there that we have to bring back into the house Jesus is coming soon, sooner than you expect. So we cannot allow them miss out on that. We can't. So now is the time to do the work. I call myself an end time soldier. And I'm not saying that because I need a name. I'm saying that because that's the truth. It is for real. So I'm not, I'm not here to joke. I'm not playing. With, like I'm not playing with the enemy because we have a lot to take back we have a lot to take back so imagine what if I'd died on the journey I'll probably have, I'll, I'll be going straight to hell and I told God I don't want to go to hell I want to go to hell so we're taking this seriously it's a serious business it's serious business it's not going to be business as usual I need us to understand that it's, we are taking a different turn you see young people of today they are not patient you are speaking to them in 15-20 minutes you are losing them their attention span is not it's so short so we are not here to talk plain English we are not, we are not speaking a lot so we are showing we are showing them this is what God can do. This is God. Oh, I mean, only God could have done this. Only God could have done this. So I've gone away from, from sin. I've gone away from sickness. I've gone away from, from lies. And I've moved, I've moved so much. In a very short time, I've moved so much that I can't even look back, let alone going back. It's not possible. So there's no going back. <laughs> this is it. This is it. So why not just lift up your voice and thank God for me? Is this worthy of things? There is nothing you cannot do, protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdo. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty words. Mountain move out, my love, on your mind. something daddy sorry sorry please permit me sir so i met i met daddy at um, one of our retreats yes it was my first time at the retreat for easy concepts i was invited and i saw him and it felt like he was speaking to my soul i felt like this man is for me <laughs> Thank you. 
I told, I told Mr. Isaac, I said, this man is speaking to my spirit. I'm connecting with this man on another level. And he said to me, okay, we can go to his church on Sunday. And we came here. And then he was here ministering. And then I said to Mr. Isaac, this is my church. <laughs> I said to him, this is my pastor. And then mommy came and made the altar call. I didn't know what moved me. I didn't know what moved me out. Even when I give ties, I don't come out. I just send it. I don't, I make, I try to make myself very invisible in church. But I didn't know what pushed me out that day. And I rededicated my life to God. And that was where it started from. So daddy i thank god for your life you've 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 done a lot that you do not even know and we'll probably be speaking about that in subsequent times but god has really used you to say some things to my spirit to my life that has gone a very very long way and there's i don't have anything to give you i mean i just want to bless god for you because you're also part of my story thank you very much Bless you. So church, we can't let her do this on her own. We've got to pray her through it. You know that there are going to be many people who are waiting for her to fail. You know, in many cases, they will see now. They go soon tire. You won't get tired in the name of the Lord Jesus so what we want to do this last day is to dedicate her to the Lord and I want us all to stretch our hands inside outside wherever you are I couldn't touch them now she was born blind to them I made this not in a video on her YouTube page speaking about her childhood to them narrated how her parents sought God's intervention after medical efforts proved abortive, she said after gaining her sight, her mother reached an agreement with God and dedicated her to Him. I was born blind actually. I didn't open my eyes at all and that became a challenge. My parents tried all they could to get me to see. Without my knowledge, my mother made a deal with God, she said. Childhood. Um. Yes, I was born blind, actually. Uh, I didn't open my eyes at all. And um, of course, that, that, became, that became a challenge. Uh, my parents, I mean, tried all that they could to get this baby to see. Um, everything they tried medically proved abortive and um, we had to resort to God, you know. Um, so here is my mom um, being a prayer warrior. Like she just, she just started praying all of a sudden, you know. She started fasting from nowhere. I mean, not like she believed that was going to work because of course she had tried every other thing. Yeah, she started going to church, you know, started praying, and um, I eventually opened my eyes. <laughs> I did, which was such a miracle. Uh, but even at that, I mean, according to her, the eyes were so red, like blood red, you know. I mean, that became another issue. Um, another round of fasting and praying, you know, anointing oil here and there, Bibles here and there. Um, I mean, these are things that my parents weren't used to, you know, but they had to because of the situation. And um, yeah, eventually, eventually I started to, I started to see. And then I remember that my mom, I mean, according to her, yeah, she had, you know, promised to give me back to God, <laughs> you know if God could help her solve um, that problem. 
yeah, so that was where, I mean, that's where church comes in, you know. So she started taking me to church. Um, I was going to church with her, like, every time. And um, it, became, it became a tradition for, for myself and my mom, yeah. So we started going to church together. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's that about, about my, my story of being born blind. Yeah. So without my knowledge, um, my mom apparently um, made a deal with God. You know, you know how people just go into covenant, you know, without telling the person, <laughs> you know. And I mean, it was her just... Um, having a deal with God, you know, like, yeah, if you do this for me, I'll do that for you, you know. So, yeah, I, put, I, I opened my eyes and she took me back to church and I feel like that's why I've not been able to um, really function, you know, in the capacity that, you know, God has given me without God, you know. So everything, everything that I that I've tried to do outside of God, I feel like never really works because of that covenant. So obviously I am a covenant child and um, maybe I've not been able to, to, to function optimally, to function um, to my fullest potential um, outside of God. Um, I feel like, you know, God is my source and there is no way that I would be able to, to do anything outside of him. Like he has to be in the equation. So maybe you're out there and you're just like me or maybe you're just like how I used to be and... Um, Maybe you've tried everything. You've tried all, all other options, but nothing seems to work. Trust me, the moment you find your way back to your source, everything will begin to make sense. I mean, I'm, I'm a testament to that. You know, so this is from me to you. Just try going back to your source. Just try... Just try to find your way back. And, well, maybe you might have some level of success, you know, some level of, um, you know, money's made and all of that. But no peace, no, no fulfillment. I mean, these are the things that you get when you are with your source. These are the things you get when, when you are in tune, you know, with your source. So... This might be an opportunity for you to find your way back. And trust me, <laughs> you would not regret it. It will probably be, it will be definitely the best decision that you've ever had to make. There's a vacuum in every man's heart that only God can feel, only Jesus can feel. Um, there is that emptiness that you feel, you know, there is that loneliness that you feel. There's just that space there and only Jesus can feel it. So now is the time to just invite him into that space. You need to bring him into that space. I mean, everything that I try to do or that I was doing wasn't, wasn't making, you know, that much sense to me. It, I mean, I had, I was good, you know, <laughs> I was, but there was still that emptiness that I felt. I was looking for that fulfillment, you know, I didn't find it until I found my source until I go be connected back to my source. And I think that's your answer. That's, that's the solution that you need. So take it. Why?
and a smile.